you want to change your life, then you're the only one that can do the work. And as much as anybody else may tell you what you can do, can't do, how you should do things, shouldn't do things, these are all other people's stories. And everything that you need is inside you already. Sometimes we've just forgotten. We forget parts of who we are. We store shock and trauma and life experience inside our body. We bring in uh, beliefs that aren't even our own into this life and we imprint from others. So we start to attract situations um, that are messengers for us to pick up and create the change that can help us feel really good. Sometimes that's really difficult to do. Many of us sit in resistance and the fear. And so we sit in our ego, which is victim or victimized. This repeats patterns, this repeats disharmony, this repeats pain. When we get beneath our ego and into our soulful self, when we start to acknowledge and take accountability and responsibility for what is playing out in our life and creating change to prevent repeated patterns um, continuing, then we start to create change and we do this by release and forgiveness and it's release and forgiveness to ourselves and release and forgiveness to others and as we release and forgive we realise that there isn't anything to forgive because everything that came in were opportunities and lessons for us to pick up and grow, to ascend, to new versions better versions of ourselves, where we feel more grounded, more in balance, with more self-love, self-care, self-resilience, self-empowerment, and self-acceptance. So if you want to make changes to your life, it's working on your belief system, your behaviors, your emotions, and working on the physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual or energy body of yourself. This takes work, it takes commitment, and you have to really, really want to do it. We go into darkness to come out into the light, and we do have to sit in that darkness to go through it, to bring us into greater awareness and greater lightness to bring us back to ourselves of who we truly are and live with meaningfulness and purpose and to remind ourselves of the things that bring us joy and passion and follow that through and include it in our lives. So make sure you're doing things that bring you joy, that bring you passion, and if you've forgotten what they are, stop, remember, explore. Because we all come here with gifts that we're meant to be sharing. And we all come here with things that bring us joy. We know when it brings us joy because it feels really, really good. And my want for myself and anybody out there is to be doing the things that bring them joy and living their life with purpose and meaningfulness and love. Thank you.